Hello YouTube, this is going to be another, uh, this is going to be part two to the sleep challenge. For a refresh on the Pokemon in my party, Trico, Talos, Wormple, Seaduck, Cascoon. Now, what I'm hoping is that Wormple will evolve into, um, Silcoon, this, or because it's kind of really not going to have any good come from having them um, two cast coons. And I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit. Part two is mainly going to be getting the um, gym badge and training up some of these Pokemon for the gym leader. Alright. Bullet Seed I'm going to teach to a Seed Up, because Seed Up doesn't, Seed Up doesn't have any um, offensive moves, and I'm not sure what that huge thing was, but here we go. I'm going to try to keep this video about 10 minutes. I don't know. See that's level six. Yeah, I'm gonna return that. Alright. Are you serious? Alright, well. Of course, the first four made it sleep. Let me go. Heck, let me talk to this guy. This guy does have a Metroprint, so this should be alright. I see that should be alright. Just wait. So see that to the level. Oh well. And I am using the uh, speed up only because I'm recording it. Or I'm speeding it up for those just because I want to. That's the best way to put it. Alright. Maybe I should have had Tallow up front. I should be able to knock it up, and yep. Good. There's apparently no more trainers for me to battle here, except to the gym. Should be really, or pretty easy for Seed Up, because Geodude's both ground and rock, which means both Seed four times effective. Kind of hoping Seed Up evolves before I get to Roxy. 
which I don't see happening. And the answer? Nope. Alright, let's go heal and face the gym logo. Sure, why not? Let's get rid of uh, Harden. Alright, nose pass. Can't say I didn't see that coming. And I got the first bag. Alright, it's gonna freeze for a second. I'm gonna see how long it's recorded. Alright, it's been about six and a half minutes. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this around ten minutes. Heal up. Oh, I guess so. Alright. Since no sleep is the strongest, I'm just I'm gonna try to focus on facing Taylor because that's gonna help me against the next gym leader. Alright. Well, for those who had watched my last video, I said I wanted to get a ghost Pokemon. Syngenda, I guess it's going to be that ghost. But first, I'm hoping I weaken it just enough to catch it. Yeah, I think I better return six again. Hang on. Kind of don't want to kill it. Oh, uh, well, I guess it's a warp. Wow, that was close. Are you kidding me? I don't know what. I can't keep pushing it, so. Go Pokeball. Well, good news is I caught it. Somebody. Alright, about eight minutes. Well, I already caught you. Split. Alright, so let's pull it seated. One of the rules that I'm following is I'm not, or I have, I'm setting it for a set, which means I gotta do that right now, otherwise, I'm gonna forget. Text speed that. For those who do not know, set is pretty much just a way of making sure that you can't switch your Pokemon. Like you're battling just some random, or battling someone already. Alright. Oh. 
Alright. Um you know, I could care less if Kappa's tune dies. Alright, bag. Gonna try the break ball. Got it. No, I don't wanna give him a hit. Halo and Trico are pretty low on HP. Alright. So part two is going to be after or end right after I beat this guy. and get back to Rust Burrow. Yeah, yeah, let me go. Alright, and part three I'm gonna get cut. To switch to my mouth. Well, right now it's going to be at, or at 11 and a half minutes. I got you, so go away. Alright, so this concludes part two of the Ruby Nose Hawk Challenge. Hope you enjoyed. Part three will be up later.